Hello, thank you for joining me and we're going to look today at the Tarot 2000 Pagan Tarot. Now I can't remember where I got this from but when I bought it it was in this little gift bag just sat on the front, nothing on the back, nothing on the bottom gift card came with a 78 card deck and an instruction leaflet so that was it. Now I've had it for a few years I did see it on eBay for over a hundred pound and I've just seen some on Amazon UK from old and new over a thousand pound which I think is a little bit ridiculous I really don't think it's that rare I've seen quite a few sites selling it and certainly not those prices either so be very careful if you're looking for this deck don't go for prices like that because it's bloody rip off to be honest with you Right, this is the instructional leaflet that it comes with, and it is very, very basic. And it gives you the information about the major arcana, but nothing to do with the minor arcana. The cards are made but or um, illustrated and designed by Robin Payne and Rosemary Luzzi. So that's the very basic instruction leaflets they came in this little bag I don't know if this is the original bag or not I really couldn't tell you but they are quite difficult to get out I don't read with these cards what attracted me to them was the actual colors now it's quite dark in here at the moment I've been battling with the light even during daylight hours. I couldn't really figure out where in the room to put anything. So um, I hope you can see these colours. But I'm just going to run through the major arcana for you. That's the back of the cards. And the card stock. It, it, I'd say it's a little bit thinner than the normal cards. But I don't see why they wouldn't last for a few years anyway. There is no embossing around the cards at all, so if you were the type of person who likes to put your own colour around, you could do. So some of the cards are named differently. So you've got the Fool. You've got the Juggler instead of the Magician. Now you can see there's quite a, a bit of um, detail in the cards, and you might notice they're all different colours. And that's what attracted me to them. I absolutely love the colours in, in these. The High Priest is Jupiter. And you notice some of the others. Justice is in its rightful place, number eight. And you've got the Wheel. You've got Fortitude instead of Strength. Hangman looks a bit strange, I think. And as a pagan terror, I was a bit surprised to see the devil. Not really anything to do with paganism, but there you go. And also, that's my favourite moon card. I would say out of many decks. And I love the sun card as well. And the angel, isn't that a Christian thing, not a pagan thing? But there you go, it's another one, the world. So that's the the major arcana. Then with the minor arcana, I'll show you the um, the swords first of all. Sorry, no, the batons I'm showing you first of all. Now they've put the batons down as air rather than as fire and they put swords as fire so there's your ace and you notice it's just pip cards and apart from the pips you've got a word at the bottom telling you what each card or giving you a clue as to the meaning of each card so that one is the five of batons failure Six of Batons Triumph. 
So if you were stuck or if you're new to the cards, that's just a word to give you a clue to guide you. Something that um, that you can use a bit more detail when we get to the court cards. Uh, that's the the battens. And as you'll see with the the sword cards, they are fire. Okay, so there's your ace. Right, same again, word at the bottom to give you a clue, but just pips. The cards have got a border around, so as you can see there's a border there. So some people like to cut those borders out. That has to be your own choice. Uh, I personally don't do that because I think it spoils the cards. But uh, as I say, that's your own your own choice. Each individual person has to make up their mind about that one. So I'm going to show you the suit of cups, which is water as normal. And this one's a nice green colour. I hope you can see the colours a bit better than what I'm seeing on, on the screen. And my lighting's not too good in here. I've got quite a few lights on, but it's still quite... Um, Right, dark. I was moving the screen around the room as well, trying to figure out where the light was best, but everything seemed to be the, exactly the same. Here we've got the queens, or pentagrams. On here it's called queens, which is earth. And you've got the pips. This is a nice yellow colour. And then a bit more information when you get to the court cards. So that is the pagan, the pagan, sorry, the tarot 2000, the pagan tarot. All right, let's get it right. Lovely size. I can get my hand around those cards very, very easily. But as I said before, be careful if you are looking for this deck because some sites are trying to tell you that it's a rare deck. I don't personally think it is. I think there are quite a few sites that are selling it at reasonable or you know standard prices. So be very careful that you don't get caught out by some of these idiots trying to flog you a grand or more trying to tell you that it's rare when it's not okay so let me know what you think of this uh, this pack in the comments below and click the button to subscribe if you want to see any more of my decks and uh, if you click subscribe it will notify you when I publish anything so um thank you for looking and I uh, hope this is a deck you like let me know if you use it to read with. Um, let me know if you see it for over a grand. I would be interested to see if anybody, else, if anybody else is selling it for something extortionate like that. It would be quite interesting. It's not one that I'm ready to sell yet. <laughs> Maybe I should keep hold of it for a few more years. You never know. It might, it might go up to five grand. We'll see. <laughs> right, thanks. See you next time. Bye.